Good morning, everyone. I am coming to you live really, really quickly, honestly, because it's not even Ash Show Tea Tuesdays. You know, I typically do this on Tuesdays, and I was going to take this week to not do it. Um, but I realized that there is important stuff to talk about this week. Today's 11-11. This week we have Mars going direct. Hi, everyone, for joining. Thank you so much. Um, so with so much going on astrologically that I didn't even really realize I should probably talk about, I'm just going to come in quickly just because I felt really, really called to share, um, the downloads and the insights that I have this week and that I think can help you guys. Um, and I'm doing it as early as possible so that I can get it out so that you guys can see it during 11-11, hopefully. But, um, before I even get into it, I hope you are all well or as well as you can be given the circumstances of existing right now. My name is Jasmine Kyleen. If you're watching this live on Marble TV, then thank you so much. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you as well. And yeah, so let's get into it. So today is 11-11. Today is a beautiful, beautiful portal for ascension. Anytime we have any sort of numerology working within the dates, we really want to um honor them and set intention with them you know 11 is always the sign of oh always a sign it's always the number of twin flames right of twin union so it's a beautiful time to call in whatever relationship it is you want hello thank you for joining it's a beautiful time to really get clear on the kind of relationships that you want and if you do want to call in that twin flame union or even a soulmate union um but above all else this is a beautiful beautiful time to manifest, to get so clear on the desired reality it is that you are craving and that you are deserving of and calling it in and getting clear. So how I would suggest working with this, you know, if you have an orange pen, I love to work with color healing when I am doing my manifesting. So if you want to write your desires on a list or in a journal or through, through scripting doing so with an orange pen because that connects you to your sacral chakra which is the energetic center where we create from our fertility um just yeah where we're fertile and where we birth our ideas and our desires so if you want to connect with your sacral chakra either writing an orange pen or wearing orange connecting with the color orange the colors that i would say to connect with today would be orange for sacral and purple for crown because crown is how we connect to the ethers and i think we really want to work with the divinity today if we're calling in the greatest possible reality for ourselves so work with those colors and just get clear on what it is that you want to manifest today it's a beautiful magical day i don't know if you feel it energetically but there's such a shift so work alongside this um and i have to i have to show the cards that i pulled because it's, it's insane to me so i always pull cards to add to you know asking my guides what the energy for the week is. And the very first card I pulled was, it's in this deck it's called Light, but in the tarot it's equivalent to the Sun card, which is divine manifestations, beautiful things, exactly what you want. Light, I mean, exactly what this image would even make you feel, just the sense of alignment, the sense of um, wishes coming into fruition. And then the second card, and the last card that I pulled, was the devil card which in this deck is called the temptation so for me what this really meant was the fact that we are the makers of our reality we choose our reality and we choose the feelings and the emotions that we want to subscribe to so i think right now there's a, a huge emphasis on our choices and the energies that we do want to play into um you know i think there is a temptation to kind of just um give up on ourselves to let go of what it is that we've been working so hard to build and to just succumb to the fears and the anxieties that are inevitable in this time. And while it is important to have grace for yourself and it's important to rest and allow yourself to just kind of recover from the emotional turmoil that I'm sure we've all been experiencing at different levels and, you know, in different themes, um, it's important to honor ourselves by still choosing to show up as our highest and best possible selves. You know, we are beings that are made up of many different layers, but truthfully, all of these layers come to just make one divine vessel. And so we are not blessings. Thank you for joining. Um, and so, you know, sorry, I just completely lost what you thought. But having so many different layers of us that makes one divine vessel, you know, we are not different. We are not separate from our inner child. We're not separate from our, you know, shadow self. It all comes together to make one divine being. And so it's important not to judge yourself when this energy comes up, but knowing that you should honor it, understand it, look at it, but still choose to move forward from the place of light, from your higher self, you know, honor the anxieties and the fears that come up. Know that they're coming up for a reason. They're calling your attention towards something that needs to be worked through or that needs a little bit more nourishment or intention. But, um, 
it's still up to you what choice and what action you take. And if you're going to be led by any part of you, let it be that your highest and best self, the self that has your best interest in mind. Um, and another beautiful thing to, okay, well, before I even get to Mars going direct, the last thing that I want to say about 1111 is that today is a beautiful, beautiful day to do the two cup method manifestation. It is a sacred ritual that I only save for very special occasions, very important new moons or times when I really want to mess something, manifest something huge for myself. And today's the day that I'm going to do it. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, and there's plenty of resources for you to watch on how exactly to do the two cup method. Just literally Google or go on YouTube and search up two cup method. But it, from my understanding of it is having two cups basically one labeled as your current reality, the next one labeled as your desired reality, or even if there's maybe one specific thing that you want to manifest instead of just like timeline hopping, then just um, labeling the second cup as a reality in which you have X, in which you have, you know, the dream home or the dream relationship or the dream body or whatever it is that you're working towards. And it's essentially this idea of pouring the water that is located inside of the current reality cup and pouring it into the desired reality cup and drinking it knowing that you are shifting timelines. And there's more to it, which is why I'm please encouraging you to actually go look it up because I'm like terrible at explaining rituals. Um, Cause obviously you have to like meditate with it and sort of put your mental energy into the cup so that, because you know, obviously us beings that are made up of 70% water, water is a huge portal when it comes to switching timelines and manifesting the realities that we desire for ourselves. So it's a really beautiful, um, there's a specific word that I'm looking for. I would consider water to just be like a route, really. So definitely look into doing that. Um, the two cup method is, it's never failed me. It's never failed anyone. There's so many um, success stories. So if there's any day where I would really encourage you to just dabble a little bit with magic, dabble a little bit with the law of attraction, it would be today. And lastly, but certainly not leastly, on Friday, which is somehow ironically Friday the 13th, we are going to be experiencing Mars going direct. Mars has been in retrograde for quite some time now, which has, um, you know, it's played out in a lot of different ways collectively and individually. Definitely there's been some argumentative feelings in the air. There's been some you know, maybe some stagnancies when in terms of forward movement with the projects we want to pour ourselves to. But it's going direct, guys. And obviously the shift isn't overnight. You know, when a planet goes direct, there is some period of shadow. But know that after the 13th, whatever divine ideas that you want to plant, it's the time to do it. You know, I always recommend that you don't like launch any businesses or anything too um, important to you during Mars retrograde because it is typically um, understood that it won't, it's less likely to last the test of time. You know, nothing is finite, nothing is definite. So you can always, you know, work alongside the energies and manifest and set intention and protection over what it is that you want to protect. Um, but at the end of the day, the planets are the planets, you know, computers are going to freeze during Mercury retrograde and plans are going to fall through during Mars retrograde. It just kind of is what it is. And so now that it's going straight, now that it's going direct, it's important that we actually work alongside that. And now we pour some more intention into our plans and our ideas. Now it's the time to put the action, right? This card is all about action and, and divinely led action, source led action, soul led action, not ego led action, which mind you, I don't think we should villainize our ego, our egos are there to protect us and there to, to let us know when there is danger. But at the end of the day, um, yeah, we should be led by soul. And when we are implementing these ideas that we want to be rooted in um, sustainable soil, uh, we do want to do so when it is astrologically at the very least supported. And right now it is supported. So with Mars going straight, you know, put those ideas into action. Manifest, take today to manifest a reality in which that idea is born and in the 3D and thriving and successful. And then after the 13th, do the due diligence. You know, we are co-creators of our reality. What I mean by that is that we are um, writing our stories alongside the universe and alongside our guides and our ancestors. And so it's important that we put our trust into them, that we ask them for what it is that we want in a clear manner, and we trust 
that by us even communicating or setting the intention out to the world that it's being handled in the best possible manner. But then, you know, co-creating means not only trusting that what you desire is being, you know, worked on and in the kitchen being cooked up, but also, you know, doing your part. So after the 13th, do whatever physical, um, just do whatever you physically need to do in order to manifest that, you know, put pen to paper, put nails to wood. I don't know what terminology to use right now, but actually, you know, put the physical into it. Uh, and know that it's divinely supported, which is the most important. But otherwise, um, enjoy your 11-11. I'm going to finish this so that I can get this out so you guys can see it. Um, and yeah, it's a beautiful day for manifesting. And connect with your sacral chakra. Know that you are a powerful, magical being that can call in whatever it is that you desire. Truthfully, there's nothing too big, nothing too small. I would encourage today, if any day, to be the day where you don't limit yourself to what it is that you ask for. Um, there is, There's nothing that's too... I mean, we just won this election, guys. Like, <laughs> there's nothing we can't do. There's nothing that you can't do. There's nothing you're not deserving of. Um, abundance is your birthright. So, yeah. <laughs> Love you guys. I hope you have an incredible day. If you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to subscribe if you want more astro updates. If you're watching this live, thank you. My name is Jasmine Kylie on Instagram if you want to follow. And otherwise, yeah, stay blessed. Bye.